Hi there, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to populate a URDF in Drake. So I've opened up MATLAB here. Let's start by doing add path Drake. Okay, and we'll start with an existing URDF. So let's um, use the Acrobat URDF. It's one of my favorites. If you look in the Acrobat directory, there's a URDF file, acrobat.urdf. The URDF is just a simple XML text readable format which describes the links of my robots. The Acrobat has three links. It's a base link, an upper link, a lower link. Those are connected by two joints. The shoulder joint, which connects the base to the upper, and the elbow joint, which connects the upper to the lower. And the great thing about the Acrobat is it has only one motor to control those two links, an elbow. Okay, so let's save this as a new file. Let's say, my first URDF. Okay, and what I'd like to do as an example, let's just make a new, add a new link to the end of the Acrobat. So let's copy this lower link down, copy and paste it here, and I'll change the lower this new joint's name to be hand. Okay. And then we need a new joint. I'll take this existing joint, copy it down, make it. Oops, I'm sorry, the wrist joint, which connects the lower link to the hand. Great. Now let's visualize it in MATLAB. So I'm going to do that by doing, I'm going to make a planar rigid body manipulator and load this URDF. My first URDF. URDF. A little redundant. Okay, now you see I've got a planar rigid body manipulator in my workspace. That's a class. I'm going to make a visualizer for it so I can draw it. I can do that with the method construct visualizer. And then I can start playing with that visualization by using this inspector method. Okay, so it's a nice little method that just brings up a GUI that allows me to rotate the joints and see what's going on. Like this, and then it should be just as we put this new link on here. Okay, great. Now I'm going to make that a little better. I'm going to set the axis of this to be a little bit bigger. Negative one, one, negative one, one. Inspector again, that should make it a little easier to see what was going on. Good. And I should probably make that last link a different color, so let's do that. So instead of making that new hand link blue, let's make it green. The name is just for our reference. I'm going to set it to RGB color 010. Okay. Now, the other problem with it is that right now I've got it coming off the middle of, the, of this lower link. Let's see if we can move it to the end. So the lower link. Is, has geometry of length 2, it's 2.1 because it's got a little, the physical robot has a little bit of overlap between the two joints. And I have my wrist here at coordinate negative 1 relative to the lower length coordinates. So I'm going to change that to negative 2. Reload my URDF. Reconstruct my visualizer. Set the axis. Inspector. See what we got. Okay, perfect. Now, if I want to simulate it, I can just say r dot simulate from zero to five seconds. Let's say from random. There's going to be six states because we have three joints and three velocities. I'll run a quick simulation. and I can play that back with that same visualizer object I had. There you go. You've got a three-link robot.